Hello, my name is Matteo and today I'm presenting you the work I conducted with Professor Vasile titled Analysis of Stochastic Nil Integrable Dynamical Systems Using Polynomial Chaos Expansions. I will start by giving you a bit of context and motivations behind this work, followed by a stochastic framework for orbital mechanics. Then I will present you the methodology we propose to tackle this family of problems and the associated uh, results uh, associated to the Hanon Hyler system and to a geostationary orbit. Finally, some conclusions. So, being interested in uncertainty treatment in orbital mechanics, we are aiming at challenging the common assumption by which uh, orbital mechanics dynamical systems uh, are deterministic dynamical systems. In fact, uh, orbital mechanics is intrinsically affected by uncertainty. And our aim is to rewrite the equations of motions such that uh, we can take into account uh, all sources of uncertainty. To do this, we're not only taking into account uncertainty over initial conditions or over a set of real valued parameters characterizing uh, a fully known deterministic uh, differential equation. Instead, we're interested in uh, uh, including stochastic processes as perturbing forces in integrable systems. With this framework, we can ask ourselves uh, what are the implications uh, on the integrals of motion and uh, whether we can say something about the stability of the system and uh, its uh, chaotic uh, transitions. So we start from the most general formulation of, the, of our problem, which is the Langevin differential equation given here. Uh, here, epsilon is a small real valued parameter and WT is a time dependent stochastic process. In this work, we will focus on uh, Wiener-like processes. And uh, phi is a generic perturbing function. Together with the differential equation, we need to include the definition of a set over which we can define the probability distribution. And moreover, dealing with uh, stochastic calculus, we need to specify the interpretation of the first term in the first equation. We are using a uh, interpretation. So we start uh, uh, tackling the stochastic process by decomposing it using the Karun and Lowe expansion, which allows to decompose a Wiener process uh, on a time interval. Here you can see that the, uh, the time dependence uh, is decomposed from the stochasticity. In fact, the Zn are pairwise independent Gaussian variables with uh, zero mean and uh, variance one. And you can see that using this uh, approximation, using the first 400 terms, uh, we were able to represent two realization of two different uh, Wiener processes defined on uh, 0, 01 and 0, 020. Because we need to truncate this series, uh, it's important to notice that uh, the error is proportional uh, to the time interval over which we are approximating the stochastic process. We will use this fact later on. So to represent the state of the system, we use a dynamic polynomial chaos expansion. In fact, we want to spectrally decompose the functional of the state with respect to uh, uh, probability space, uh, which here we're representing by, with the vector z. And we use a, a decomposition in which we have a coefficient which is explicitly time dependent, and then a set of orthogonal bases of given degree with respect to the uncertain variables which are orthogonal with respect to the inner product defined by the probability distribution of the uncertain space. In particular, the uh, inner product matrix of the polynomial basis is diagonal. Uh, with these ingredients, we can build uh, uh, orthogonal basis, making use of the three terms recursion relation given here. And this allows us to build the univariate orthogonal polynomials. Tensor products then lead to multivariate orthogonal polynomials. Uh, to perform the propagation, uh, we are able to uh, shift from a stochastic differential equation to an uh, ordinary differential equation, or let's say a set of diff ordinary differential equations. And we are at the same time able to estimate the initial value of the coefficients associated to the expansion of the state. Because of a number of reasons, we are also interested in leveraging the Markovian nature of the stochastic process. And we implement a reinitialization step, which is represent, represented in the figure here. So the time interval is divided into a, a number of segments. 
and uh, we make use of different polynomial chaos expansions for different time segments. In order to do this, uh, the stochastic space of each segment uh, uh, changes and uh, is uh, uh, defined by a set of parameters characterizing the dynamics of the given segment and uh, by the probability distribution of the initial state at the given segment again. The challenge here is that uh, uh, the components of the state uh, are uh, correlated and uh, in order to build orthogonal polynomials, uh, we need uh, a different technique, uh, which is in this case, the Gram-Schmidt method. The three uh, terms recursion cannot be used in this case. So we do this because of a number of reasons. First of all, uh, we need the less terms to represent the stochastic process. As previously stated, the error is proportional to the time interval. Also, uh, we can mitigate the curse of dimensionality associated to the Galerkin projection for the computation of the variation of the coefficients of the expansion. And also at the same time, we're able to reduce the propagation error and uh, lower the or order of the polynomial uh, necessary to approximate the dynamics. So associated to this methodology, uh, we propose uh, two diffusion indicators that can be used to assess chaos and instability. The first one uh, is based uh, on the expectation for a given uh, variable to be bounded inside uh, uh, a fixed set K. And the second one is uh, more related to uh, the Lyapunov indicators used uh, in uh, deterministic systems. Here we're making use of the, uh, the time-dependent coefficients of the expansion of the state to assess uh, the diffusion and therefore uh, the chaotic behavior of a given condition. So the first result uh, we produce is based on the hannon alice system in which lambda is equal to one. And uh, we assume to have uh, uh, an uncertain initial position given by a bivariate Gaussian distribution. And associated to it, uh, we have two uh, reference conditions. Uh, and, uh, the first one known to be chaotic and the second one known to be regular. And you can see with this uh, formulation how the the qualitative uh, behavior can be assessed. Uh, in fact, the probability distribution and in particular the standard deviation of the components of the state uh, are quickly increasing in the chaotic case while in the stable one uh, or let's say regular one, uh, we have bounded motion in a probabilistic sense. This can also be seen in the second action variable of the same system. Uh, this is for the regular um, case and this is for the chaotic one. And associated to this action, the component, the second component of the actions, uh, you can see the indicator one stating that uh, the action for the regular case is always bounded or almost always bounded inside the uh, uh, given set, while in the chaotic case, this is not the case. After that, we discuss uh, uh, the stochastic henon highest potential in which we introduce the stochastic process inside the dynamics. And we have uh, the following results. We can again compute the action variables in which you can see uh, the clear diffusion, probabilistic diffusion of the action components, which has, which has been uh, uh, numerically assessed with the computation of indicator one. You see that uh, together with an oscillation, uh, the probability for the action to be outside the uh, defined region increases with time. Another ingredient we use is the fact that the epsilon is much smaller than one, allowing to uh, expand in Taylor series uh, the state of the system with this form. And then again, making use of uh, chaos expansion. Without getting into the details, this leads to uh, an equation with this form that uh, reduces computational costs because uh, we need to compute the stochastic integral only once. We do this with the stochastic henon Halle system. And you can see for the first component x, we have x0, x1, and x2, which build, will build up to the, the, sec the first uh, x given below while the right one is the one associated to the full dynamics. You can see here there is a mismatch. 
The second problem we tackled is a geostationary orbit with a stochastic perturbation in addition to the J2 and J22 perturbations. The stochastic perturbations are two independent ones uh, associated to two small parameters. And you can see the result uh, in position after 20 days. Mm. The angle is not affected by the perturbation as expected, while the radius is diffusing. We again tried the perturbative approach uh, with respect to the small parameters. And you can see that in this case, uh, there's a good matching between the two approaches. Uh, moreover, the perturbative technique led to a computational cost reduction of approximately a factor of 10. And uh, we can therefore use uh, the solution of this problem to compute again the diffusion indicators. We use the mechanical energy of uh, the system, which is known to evolve following this uh, law. And you can see how the energy is diffusing. Uh, together with an oscillation again, we have an increasing uh, value of indicator one and a decreasing and quickly decreasing value of indicator two. This uh, indicates that the standard deviation and higher moments uh, associated to the state of the system are quickly increasing, leading to a, a, a diffusion of the probability density function of the state. So in conclusion, uh, stochastic processes play a relevant role for many problems in orbital mechanics. Uh, in the paper, we show how the bounded first integral can be related to the behavior of stochastic nail integrable dynamical systems and how a number of indicators can be used to assess this. Finally, it was shown how dynamic polynomial chaos expansion can be used to solve the proposed family of problems. In future works, we will look into stochastic resonances in orbital mechanics and in application of the Melnikov method coupled with uh, polynomial chaos expansion. And also we will look into uh, the breakdown process of uh, KAM tori in stochastically perturbed uh, hemipolian systems.